if you can't admire Joe Biden as a person, then it's probably, you got a problem. <laughs> you need to do some self-evaluation. Because what's not to like? He's the nicest person I think I've ever met in politics. Is that right? He is as good a man as God ever created. Lindsey and, uh, and John McCain and I were friends. Uh, Lindsey asked me to, when I, I was chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, would I travel around, you know, invite him to come with us and travel a lot with your dad and, yeah, and yeah, Lindsey. Joe Biden's become an incredibly destabilizing American president. He's just incompetent. He's been wrong about everything for 40 years. Joe Biden has been the most incompetent president in my lifetime on foreign policy, worse than Jimmy Carter. The Iranians are playing President Biden like a fiddle. If I ever hear that Joe Biden's a moderate again, I'm gonna throw up. Joe Biden's overwhelmed by the job of being president. I miss Donald Trump. None of this would have happened if President Trump were being pre was president today. You have, though, announced a separate investigation into your friend Joe Biden. Um, and you said that, that you love him, um, but you want to pursue this investigation. Joe Biden is a, is a friend. He's one of the most decent people I've ever met in my life. As much as I love Joe Biden, and I'm sincere when I say that, uh, now that you want to talk about Ukraine, it's pretty hard for me to go home and tell my constituents to ignore the fact that Hunter Biden received $50,000 a month from a gas company in the Ukraine. They have him under his, their thumb right, right now. They know, he knows, if he comes out against Trump, he's got a real tough road for re-election. Number one, I am disappointed, and quite frankly, I'm angered by the fact he knows me. He knows my son. He knows there's nothing to this. Trump is now essentially holding power over him that even the Ukrainians wouldn't yield to. Lindsey is about to go down in a way that I think he's going to regret his whole life. What do you say to him? I say, Lindsay, I, I, I just, uh, I, I, I'm just embarrassed by what you're doing for you. I gotta tell you, I'm really disappointed. I mean, uh, um, I'm not very good at holding grudges. That's what I get criticized a lot for. But um, I know Lindsay knows better. I know he knows better. And uh, you know, I, when Lindsey first got elected, he asked whether he could travel with me internationally because I was doing a lot. I, I don't know, quite frankly, what's gotten into Lindsey. He knows my kids, he knows me, he knows John, he knows his children, he knows my wife. I, I, I just, I can't, I, I can't figure it, but I don't have any time to hold a grudge.